aviation came from an accident. I mean, I went to school to be an architect. I always loved airplanes, but I came from a place where, you know, you just didn't do that. Small town America, you know, being a pilot, that's really way out there. Once you start riding bikes, it's either in you or it's not. And when it's in you, you can't let it go. Well, motorcycles were a hobby for me, but I, I grew up on dirt bikes, sport bikes, and then once I was a pilot and I could actually afford Harleys, then I started playing with them, and I go, well, I can build something better myself, you know, and it started as a hobby, and it turned into a business. Being able to tie two of your passions in life together is really what this project's about. It's about tying the aviation together with the motorcycles. The thing that you get most when you're riding motorcycles is that little bit of adrenaline rush you know, that sense of freedom. I think that's the same thing with flight. I think you get that sense of freedom by, you know, breaking loose from gravity, man. You're defying gravity. You're able to, you know, break away from it. And it's exciting. There's a lot of cool things to these airplanes. Obviously the horsepower, the speed, uh, just the fact that some of those airplanes are 70 years old and they're still flying. There are certain airplanes that stand out. Okay, P-51 definitely stands out for its role. And, you know, it's the, coolest, slickest, hottest looking airplane of that time period. But the bombers are the ones that did all the work. They were built by hand. They were very raw. They weren't uh, computer generated. They weren't, you know, done for perfect aerodynamics. I mean, they had a short period of time to build an aircraft and they built them by hand. In essence, we're taking that same uh, style of uh, craftsmanship and we're putting it into these bikes. Because we're going to build the gas tanks. We're actually going to shape the metal and do all that stuff and do the do the rivets and we're going to rivet them in and, and all those things to really go back to that time period when they were building things by hand. One of the major pieces of it is the scoop that's underneath the belly. I mean, everybody identifies with that. So when I saw this laying there and they were going to scrap it, I had to have it. Doing an aircraft themed motorcycle is how, how crazy do we get? So to be able to build something that's going to be around long after I'm gone that, that emulates that airplane, that's that's awesome.